Hey guys, John here. Today we're in D.Va using the Mona for D.Va skin from Plugmon. And what is a D.Va week without using the MS-20 here? So we're going to go to init preset. Let's go and change everything to the MS-20. And for the filters, I'll just use the second ones over here. So I have no idea what this is going to turn out to be, but I do love the MS-20. So it just sounds mean here. So let's open up our cutoff here and maybe add some peak here and kind of see how this sounds bring out uh, the VCO2 here. So we're just listening to the VCO level one here. Let's change this to a saw. And something if you're not aware of here, so when we're using this type of filter here, Ryan, for the MS-20, the oscillator level has a lot to do with how the filter reacts here. So let's get a nice healthy peak here and maybe give it some modulation through envelope number two. something kind of like that here. So let's give a healthy amount here. So we have some of that squeaking already kind of going on, which is really cool, but take a listen how different this sounds if we change the VCO one level. So let's turn an ARP on here so we can just hear the notes kind of pulsating here and maybe do one over four. So even if we go all the way to max volume here, it's going to still have that characteristic, but the more we kind of reduce this volume, we get some crazy filter reactions. So let's do something kind of like that for VCO1 over here and kind of bring back our peak a little bit here and kind of start sneaking in VCO level two. And for this, we're gonna go for a square and as you guessed it, down an octave here. But let's change the transpose from negative 12 to zero. Okay, so this is getting kind of weird already here. So let's try with the uh, high pass over here and we can get some really interesting sounds here as well. So let's take a listen and bring this peak up as well. <laughs> So that might be kind of something cool to also modulate as well. I don't even know what this is turning out to be. Let's add some more voices. And let's pan this here. So right click this and go to stack voice and see what happens. So let's bring this down here. And see what some effects do to this. So we have a chorus here. Maybe some delays. some glide could go a long way here so let's take a listen to that <laughs>
it's nice with the MS-20 here, we have two, two different revisions, so we can kind of A-B those and kind of see how different they sound here. So that sounds pretty wild there. Let's bring this down even some more. I do wish Diva had a built-in EQ because there's a lot of things that I like to EQ, but I'll leave that up to you because you kind of want to get some of the mud out, maybe brighten it up a little. You know, maybe we can actually just do that now. So if you are in, I guess FL, you can use whatever, whatever you want. Use an EQ, basically. That's the kind of whole point here. extra distortion to that as well so let's see blood where are you here i love this distortion over here and let's give it some reverb why not Keep in mind, we don't have to use this as an ARP too. We can always use this as a lead. But we do want to keep our sustain up here. <laughs> that is wild. It's almost like an 808 or something in the background because of that. Oh, that is really cool. Okay, so let's call this... Oh man, it's kind of like a 303, but it's also like an 808. 303, 808, I guess that's, I guess, I mean, what better name is it than that? Okay, so if you want to get the 303, 808, then there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. So yeah, do with it as you please. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.